my name is Corey. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. As the disclaimer goes, I am not a financial advisor. Do not invest in anything you are willing to lose, and please do your own research. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's news. As you can see on the screen, over the last two days, we have taken a free fall dive off the edge of a cliff. Um, Bitcoin was trading at around $9,200. Now it's tanked all the way down to $7,900. Um, this affecting all of the markets in general. Um, if we go and check out our XRP that we are so fond of, we're going to also see a, uh, a pattern very similar to that also coming off of a nice shelf, but holding steady at around this 20 cent mark. Um, I made another small purchase as soon as I saw this thing dive down into the, the 20 cents. I, I ran home and, and bought a couple more. Uh, not going to lie. But I did see, think that we were coming up on this rise. I didn't think that we were going to be too much more affected. Um, but as you can see, a couple percentage points down, and it looks like we're holding steady, should be moving back up to the upside. So I'm not too concerned. But what I am concerned is I am concerned with this. I am concerned with the pre-markets. It looks like the Dow is going to be opening this morning about 1,200 points under <laughs> a big drop of about 1,200 points. So... You know, um, you know, we're seeing the same the, the same market drop throughout. You know, where where all of it is. I mean, even right now, we're we're in the twenty cent range right now for XRP. So uh, it just seems like markets are getting crushed all over the place. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on. Reborn, just a coincidence, right? So this guy's on fire. I've been following him like crazy. He's been following the recent um, news with the beer flu and how it's affecting people and the economy and people are going crazy in the supermarkets. You, I, people are buying toilet paper like it's nobody's business, like as if the, if the world ends having a piece of paper to wipe your butt is far more important than than other supplies for some reason. I don't know. I've never heard of something called a, like a toilet paper crisis, but I thought it was funny. I just wanted to show you that there are people buying like crazy. They're trying to buy up supplies, so uh, there is a bunch of fear going around, uh, which could add to this stock market crash. And um, you know, it's really just being played uh, into our into our minds right now. And let's just be safe out there. Let's, you know, realize that you know it, it, we don't need to go crazy. You know, we're here to help each other. We shouldn't be, you know, rushing out and and going insane. We should be, you know, taking some time to sit down and think about how we can help each other with through this. You know, go slow. Um, anyway, Reborn Thirteen at Reborn Thirteen had something come out. He put out. Um, I saw a couple different articles today talking about. Uh, this topic, but not necessarily in the same wording. But a couple of years ago, I found out about a uh, computer program inside the global banking system. It's really interesting that it's being brought up now, uh, especially in uh, in line with this market drop. Um, but what he's saying is there's a ICE-9 is a computer virus developed by the DOD for unknown purposes. The virus can cause significant collateral damage, de devastating consequences on a global scale, including bringing down the global banking system. It is the world's most lethal virus. I'm not sure if that this is a virus. I know that it says here that it is a virus, but the last time that I was uh, introduced to this thing, it says right here, x9.exe is a computer virus developed by the DOD for unknown purposes according to the machine. It is the world's most lethal virus capable of bringing Samaritan to its knees. Um, we've got Mr. Poole uh, sending out some DOD tests of this ICE-9 uh, type of thing, a little bit of a warning. Uh, ICE-9 Jim Rickards reveals the elite's master plan and three ways to protect yourself. I don't, there's no date on this, so I, I, I don't know when this is from, but... Uh, it says, ICE-9 is a fine way to describe the power elite response to the next financial crisis. Instead of re the world, elites will freeze it. To be more specific, quotes, elites, Richard warns, are preparing for a financial ICE-9 with no vaccine. They will quarantine your money by locking it inside the financial system until the contagion subsides. This means closing down the banks, exchanges, and money market funds, shutting down ATMs, and ordering asset managers not to sell securities. So... 
um, like eight months ago, I would say like eight or nine months ago, I came across this in my search and thought it was ridiculous. However, I thought it was, um, I thought it was ridiculous that they would have actually used it. However, I still thought it was important that they had created it, even if it was just an idea. Enjoy the show. Anyway, so Ian Northing comes out and uh, is in response to David Schwartz and he says a trading curb sometimes referred to as a circuit breaker is a financial regulatory instrument that is in place to prevent stock market crashes from occurring circuit breakers can be modified to prevent both speculative gains and dramatic losses within a small time frame um, I think it just shows that there is a significant amount more control over the markets and money than we are you know given to understand. So we think that there is a lot of freedom in the way that money moves and I think that we are being proved that it is being proven that they have much much more control over your money than you think. Uh, and finally to go in line with um, all of this with the, the you know, uh, shutting down of the movement of money we've got Roy Seabag at Roy Seabag. I think we have just witnessed the end of the petrodollar system Non-U.S. countries will soon seek new a unit of account, medium of exchange, of exchange, and store value in New Bretton Woods that will not be decided in America or by the Americans. Um, so we've got Saudi Arabia um, oil production, right? So now there is a massive oil price war going on. Um, oil prices are falling like crazy. They're falling past um, twenty dollars a barrel, and I believe. In here we can see this is from December so January this is from January right here all the way to March right now just complete ice shelf um, oil production is being ramped up and it says that they are targeting ten dollars and twenty five cents a barrel as under the Brent benchmark so lowest prices of oil you could possibly be seeing um, in comparison, there are some more charts. This is uh, the oil price crisis of 1998 was right here. And then we've got the 2007 to 2008 market boom and bust right here. Oil prices crashing after our economic crisis and then moving back up. Prices crashing again in 2015 and then moving up. And here we go again now coming down searching for that possible ten dollars a barrel um, so there is a lot going on uh, throughout the world the beer flu is causing quite a lot of fear and I think that the media and the governments are using that in order to cause panic inside of the markets in order to start using their um, their financial instruments to move money the way that they need it to be moved freeze it where it needs to be frozen and um, I think this is going to be you know who knows what's going to happen I don't want to come up and say this is the end this is this uh, I just want people to see what is going on and how I see it tying in with each other we have talked a lot about XRP becoming the world reserve currency overtaking Bitcoin's number one spot um, and being used as yeah exactly as a as a mode of transfer for all of the world's money and it's just cool to see for the first time ever XRP is now the number one spot over Bitcoin on the Bitstamp markets um, between the XRP and USD corridor. So cool, good for them. And I'm glad that they are uh, continuing their growth, especially when you see that uh, the CEO, Brian Armstrong of Coinbase is coming out saying that, you know, Bitcoin is not going to be the cryptocurrency that brings it from 50 million users to 5 billion users around the world. Uh, the next cryptocurrency uh, that can provide um, you know regulations and uh, decentralized identity and developer tools and solutions um, but that is going to be the cryptocurrency that that comes in it and really changes the game and I think that that's definitely going to be XRP because people are going to go right from Bitcoin and say well what's the next most important coin within the top 10 that that has a good uh, a good record and they're going to see XRP and, and put their cash and money flow into that because what else are they going to put it into with everything coming down and, and crashing like crazy and I even think there's been a lot of discussion the bond markets have just been in a total ice shelf as well uh, yeah <laughs> crazy prices but um, that's the news from this morning there isn't much going on except for the fact that people are 
incredibly nervous about um, the traditional markets and and what to go. I would say just you know be with your family and um, stay safe, stay calm. Uh, realize that that the media is is for sure making this worse than it is. Although I don't have those kinds of facts to be like this isn't that bad. So. Don't take my word for it. I'm still scared, you know, like it has come into my area as well. Um, so it does cause nervousness. But anyway, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow morning. All right, have a wonderful day.